Hey guys, how we doing? I uh, take a little break. It's Tuesday. Um, warm out for the middle of March. It's uh, we're hitting 70 degrees today. I've been out cleaning up the yard and uh, sweating. <laughs> kind of uh, got one of those moves that just kind of wanted to clean up the the pack rat in me. Uh, was taking over too much, so I had to go around and kind of clean everything up and uh, uh, deal with. Uh, the pile of garbage that I accumulated. So I brought the uh, dump trailer from out back and I've been filling that up. Uh, didn't make many videos, just didn't seem like I had anything interesting to uh, to show. So <laughs> that's why. Um, today was just like a lot of maintenance uh, on the, uh, the wife's car, my truck, um, my Kubota, the uh, um, had it for 10 years. I think I changed oil it in 10 years. No. <laughs> it doesn't get much use, but uh, uh, it did have a, a need. So we got that taken care of. Uh, the oil pressure switch in that taken care of. That oil light was always on. I guess it didn't have a bad motor because it didn't blow up in 10 years. Uh, and I had no lights, so I got the lights squared away on that. Now here's some of the other stuff that I'm kind of playing with and just kind of cleaning up and going over is. Uh, Brought the rat rod quad back in and uh, mounted a headlight to the top side. That hooked up. The two headlights on the tractor are hooked up. And I got a little front brake master cylinder kind of put back together. Took it apart and cleaned and got that to pump hydraulic fluid and bled all that. And uh, it took a bleed, you know, you, you got to pedal, so to speak. But then <laughs> it wouldn't stop. Well, there's a reason why it won't stop. That's just the metal. <laughs> There's no uh, no brake pad on there at all. So uh, went to eBay, ordered a set of them. We got them coming. But useful around the yard. I used the uh, back like I had talked about as a, a little wrecker. I took the dump body and I brought it all the way down and I put two straps on the back of it and drew the dump body back down so it lifted up on the straps. And I dragged the old uh, Ford that you guys saw I got last year back into the garage and decided to take some time to go through that. And uh, cleaned up pretty good. I uh, got her fired up. The uh, only thing I'm kind of waiting on now is uh, after I clean the carb, the float sunk. So uh, here's the array of parts out of that. So we're just kind of waiting on a float. Hear it? Yeah. Gas squishing around in it. It runs pretty good. It's hydrostatic drive. Uh, it's got a high and a low range. Uh, electric PTO runs the uh, rototiller. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to go with this. I may or may not do a quickie paint job on it just to kind of clean it up. I am just going to sell it. Um, but it's the season coming into it, as it says, having the rototiller on it. Probably figure if I don't paint it, I probably get about 354. If I paint it, I probably get about 454. It's something like that. So we'll see what I have as far as time is concerned. Uh, I've been cleaning up the hoard. There's the hoard. <laughs> I think my dog's missing. Someone's yelling. <laughs> Listen, I brought the dump trailer over. Get over here. Look at him. Look at him. He knows he's busted. <laughs> Spying. He's in the neighbor's yard. So, uh, I started out uh, cleaning up all the yard and I dragged all the mowers and uh, snow blowers up to the area. I was going to start taking them apart and stripping all the parts I wanted off of them. And after I started doing that for a while, I just didn't care anymore. <laughs> then I started throwing them in the trailer and then I even I didn't even care about throwing them in the trailer anymore and I just started dragging them out front. So out very front, I uh, it was like three, three push mowers, there's two of them in here. Three push mowers, they went in about 15 minutes. Now there's uh, three snow blowers sitting out there now. I figure they, they will probably go uh, sometime today. They're just too heavy to throw up into the back of the trailer. But I know it doesn't look like much, but at least I can see around that trailer and kind of move it around and get it out of there. I have this metal rack that uh, I'm probably going to put probably against that fence over there. I'm not sure. Either there or get rid of the, the old wooden garbage can holder. That's what this thing is. And uh, I want to start stocking all my metal up on it. The stuff that I leave outside anyway. There's more of the hoard over here. 
<laughs> yeah. That's my ship pile. That's my creative pile, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> well. Just, uh, I felt like it was closing in on me, and it was. Same thing over here, it was just a pile of shit, you know. Those garbage cans over there, or uh, now I kind of do the, uh, the better metals I throw in those. Even my batteries are getting out of control. Do a run on those too. So that's really all you got going on. There's not a, a crazy, crazy bunch of stuff. I figure I kind of usually just make the videos when I'm working on toys. The Kubota's uh, dug out, and as I said, I went through that, got all the lights working on it. And then uh, Mama got um, invigorated with the warm weather, and she started uh, making a pile in the yard. So I ran over with the tractor, said, Here, fill the bucket up before I have to pick it up off the ground. And now look at her. Break time. <laughs> so I'm sitting inside on the computer, she's outside on the computer. Hey right, guys, no, I just figured I'd do a little catch up on some of the stuff that I'm playing with and uh, make a little video anyway. Um, hey, if you guys want to uh, check something out that's uh, pretty cool, my cousin, pull up a seat here, my cousin, Dave, uh, I actually just started meeting up with him and uh, talking with him on YouTube and uh, joined my uh, channel. He's uh, uh, building a um, a bobber out of a um, I think it was a Suzuki Savage 650 he started with but uh, it's really cool stuff if you uh, are into uh, bikes yeah, you want to go check out what he's making his uh, name on YouTube is uh, Red Dragon it's R-E-D-D-D -D -D. I think it's three D's R-E-D-D-D R-A-G-G O-N-E-N? -E -N? Crap, I'm not going to remember. I'll, I'll try and make a link underneath it. Red Dragon uh, 6161. And uh, check what he's out. He, he just put a video up last week of the stuff that he's making. Um, and he's kind of making everything. He even made the um, the jig that he uh, built the bike on himself, too. It's uh, a table with uh, complete adjustability where you can just pretty much start from the, uh, the front gooseneck and the... Uh, the rear mounts for the back rim and, and fill everything in between. So, uh, if you like, check him out uh, and uh, give him a little bit of encouragement. And uh, as people start watching your videos, you have a tendency to uh, finish your project. So, they might give him the boost that he needs. So, uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. Take care.